Hey guys, in this video we are going to discuss adding OpenStreetMap vector data in QGIS. We are going to discuss five points. The first point is what is OpenStreetMap. Second point is loading the Quick OSM plugin. Third point is identifying the study area. Fourth point is choosing the layers to download. And fifth point is downloading the data and building the GIS database. So what is OpenStreetMap, also known as OSM? OpenStreetMap is an open web-based digital mapping data creation and sharing service built first by Steve Coast in the UK in 2004. What you see here is actually what's listed on the website. It's general information about OSM. This is a definition found on Wikipedia. OpenStreetMap is a collaborative project to create a free editable map of the world. The geodata underlying the map is considered the primary output of the project. The creation and growth of OSM has been motivated by restrictions on the use or availability of map data across much of the world and the advent of inexpensive portable satellite navigation devices. OpenStreetMap service enable users to complete and share digital map data, especially for areas lacking on such data. Crowdsourcing mapping tasks was done through mapathons to cover areas lacking data with special attention to support humanitarian efforts. This heat map shows the areas where mapathons have taken place in order to complete mapping data for areas that do not have proper or available mapping data. In order to download OSM data, we should first load the Quick OSM plugin. I started a new session of QGIS. I'm going to Plugins, Manage and Install Plugins, and then I'm going to start typing Quick OSM. And I find that this is Quick OSM, so I'm going to click Install Plugin and close. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to browser to open street map and drag it. Now we are done loading quick OSM plugin. The second step is identify the area of interest. So I do have an area of interest stored under special bookmarks. It's a small city in Upper Egypt called Beni Suif. As you can see, the city is composed of two areas, two main areas. The first area is, is west of the Nile, which is the old, uh, old core area. And the second area is east of the Nile in the desert, the eastern desert, uh, across the Nile through a bridge. And this is basically an elevated area that is a desert area. So what we are going to do is we are going to create a database, a GIS database that contains the road network for this city. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the vector menu, quick OSM, launch quick OSM, and then I do have three boxes here. The first box says key, the second box says value, and the third box says in. Now the third box is basically the identification of the extent of the data that we need to download. So because I already had a spatial bookmark and I zoomed to my area of interest, I'm going to click on Canvas Extent. So whatever I download here is going to be covering only the Canvas Extent, which is basically the, what I view here in the map viewing area. The key and the value are basically defining the layer that I want to download. So uh, in order to know what, what is key and what is value, let's click on help with key value. By clicking on help with key value, you get the wiki page wiki.openstreetmap.org slash wiki slash map features. So it's the definition of map features. Now map features in OSM are divided into keys and each key does have a sub elements called values. So, but, uh, in order to find out the roads, we are going to look for highway. So you see, uh, okay, uh, this is the highway key and under the highway key, there are values. 
So these values are motorway, trunk, primary, secondary, tertiary, unclassified, residential. These are the values the key called highway takes. So I'm going to go back in front of each key slash value. You find first the representation, whether it's a point or line. So here it's a line and a description. So a motorway is a restricted access measure divided highway, normally with two or more running lane lanes uh, plus emergency hard shoulder equivalent to the freeway comma autobahn etc now motorway is a british naming it's actually what would be known in the us as a freeway or in germany as an autobahn and this is the symbolic representation and this is a photo of an example of a motorway or a freeway next let's go back to qgis in the key box i'm going to choose highway I can just start typing highway and then automatically the drop down menu of the value will contain all the elements that you can take that a key called highway could take. So let's pick the motorway and run query and then let's click trunk run query click primary run query click secondary run query now note that there is a message that the system sends us successful query so let's pick tertiary and let's pick unclassified then click run query residential run query let me switch to layer so that you see you see that all these files have been added living street run query and service so now we have downloaded all the elements of the database the road database uh, for Benny Swift uh, I'm going to switch off the base map and as you can see uh, there are all types of roads here uh, we can also use the satellite image in order to check yeah it looks nice okay so uh, i'm going to remove all the point elements Okay, and then uh, let me draw your attention to something. There is here a small icon that shows microchip, which means that this is a temporary scratch layer. So if I uh, close this project, these layers are going to disappear forever. So I need to convert them into a GIS database. So I'm going to select all of them and go to the processing toolbox and pick package layers. What package layers is going to do is going to convert all of them into a geo package. So I'm going to click the ellipsis and select all and click OK. Pick where I want to save my geo package. And run. So what I can do, I can just go to the file browser and pick the geo package and drag it to my file here. And then it presents me with the layers that are present in the geo package. Again, if you haven't attended my previous video, a geo package is basically the equivalent of a geo database in ArcGIS if you are working with ArcGIS. So I can either select particular layers in the in the geo package or I can just select all. So I'm going to select all of them and click OK and here you go. So it created a group containing all the layers. So now I can actually remove all the temporary layers that I downloaded from OpenStreetMap. 
So this is how I created very fast GIS database just from OpenStreetMap. So I, f I downloaded free data from OpenStreetMap for my area of interest and created a GIS database in less than 10 minutes. That was all that I wanted to tell you this time. Thank you for watching and see you next time.